Got my good looking chickens running around in the yard. Well, today I'm gonna show, uh, I'm gonna show y'all some of my little setups when I'm working with a puppy and stuff. Uh, I don't think I actually showed how it's made and everything for the, in the YouTube videos, but you'll see me working like little, little bitty young puppies on like a little uh, a squirrel or a coon hide out of a tree. I'll show you how I made that so it, it, you can kind of copy it, but um, I'm gonna turn around. Here's a, the coon. There's a coon, got the rope on it. The way I got this set up is I got a stick up there on the side of the tree and I just got a, a round bolt in it. Uh, I had it screwed straight into the tree, but the tree would always grow up around that bolt. So uh, I just put a piece of wood up there and put the, put the bolt on the outside of it so it wouldn't keep growing into the tree. And I got it set up like that. And that way, when I pull it, it just, just goes through the thing, goes through the eye, the eye hole of that. I can pull it up and down the tree. I get my puppies and work them, you know. And actually, I can. I got me a little bit of. Got me a parachute cord. Parachute cord going through this is kind of long. That way I can. I can sit over here in one of my chairs and play with my puppy right there. With the with the parachute cord and the eye hole. But I. I just wanted to show show that because I had never really showed it in detail. I'm gonna pause in a minute. I'm gonna walk you over here and show you my training tree. And this is stuff I do with young, young dogs. All right, this is the tree I use to work my dogs on in the yard here. Uh, I got a thing screwed into the tree there so I can, if I wanna, wanna work on tree contest, I can pull my, pull my squirrel up there. I got it, it's kind of leaning a little bit. It makes it easier for them to stand on it. I put me an eye bolt in the end of it here so I can snap their lead to it. I don't have to work so hard to put a lead on that tree. But I bring them up here and stand them here, and you'll see me a lot of my videos working them on this tree. I just like it because it's leaned, and I got a, I put me a little bolt right there, and I put me a thing up there so I can pull a pull the cage up down a tree with a squirrel or something in it if I want to. But uh, this is. I, this all right here. There's where my thing. Uh, that's where my uh, where I pulled the coon up down the tree right there. And here's where I work on <coughs> work on them on the tree at. But I, I try to make everything as convenient as, as convenient as possible. Right in the same area. There's Jedi down there. But uh, this is right here beside my house. I can I can I ain't got a lot of time. I can run out here and put them on tree and work work them on tree a little bit. Uh, every day don't take five or ten minutes but it, that's my setup for my training tree let me go show you where my cages are all right this right here is my driveway uh, that training tree is right over there and that other spot was right there so it's all right here together here's my dogs right in this area but uh, I got my uh, live traps I got a little young pup I, I'll work them on the tree a little bit might pull that squirrel up and down a little bit for them, and I, then I'll after I get done working them on a tree a little bit, I'll walk them up and down through here. And I got these uh these traps hanging on trees here. When I got a puppy I'm working, I'll I'll bait them up, and the squirrels usually go down in there. They just up there on a couple nails. So there's nails in the tree. I just hang them up there, and <coughs> the first few. I might have to kind of show it to them a little bit where the squirrels are at, but they, they start realizing that there are squirrels in these traps. And when I start walking up here, they'll start looking for them, looking up the tree. And whenever they start finding them, I'll get them, get them down for them. I got some more traps up through here. I got several of these up now through these woods. <coughs> but they'll, they'll, after I do it a few times, they kind of learn what the deal is and They'll come out here looking for these traps and looking for see if there's a squirrel in them. Yeah, and when they they find them, I there's my squirrel crossing sign. But uh, they find them, I'll, I'll get it down and turn it loose to them, let them run them up a tree. I got one over there, and then uh, 
as they get a little bit older across the road there that's where my bucket set up my little walking trail with my buckets so it kind of it's kind of a gradual kind of a gradual thing i start them out just playing with them on the with the squirrel on the cord then i start uh, working them on tree and i'll walk them up through here and get them on these squirrels and these live traps and after they start bumping them on the live traps and start finding them and getting on tree and running them up a tree and stuff then i after i get them knowing what they hunt and then i start putting them in the big woods across the road with the buckets and uh I don't, after they get the tree in pretty much in the wild i don't really show them a whole lot of squirrels anymore in cages <coughs> but i'm not gonna say it hurts them but uh uh you, you'll you'll start them out they'll start sight tree in a good bit doing that and uh but uh when they're young like that you know you just want them treeing every how you can get them treeing and usually after you quit showing them squirrels they start developing and learning their nose it gets them gets them started quicker but um there's a little bit of everything uh, too much of one thing is probably bad but a whole lot of a bunch of things is we get them started pretty quick so thank you